or watch on Facebook as we get started. So welcome to our monthly uh, boot camp. As many of you know, we offer this boot camp on the first Friday of every month. And it's just a complete overview of the tools, training, technology available at Lair. Now, even if you're not a Lair agent, I see we have some agents that are with other brokerages. Uh, there's so much content on today's program. One thing you'll find out about Lair is that we open up a great deal of our marketing, our training, all kinds of awesome stuff uh, for you to grow your real estate business. So you don't have to be a Lair agent to enjoy all of the fruits that we're going to go over today. So I am going to dig in. Uh, first, I like to remind everybody that it's a good idea to have a pen and paper or something to take notes. Your goal at the end of today's program is to walk away with just five things that you're going to go execute on. It's going to be a fire hose for the next few hours. There's going to be tons of information uh, that we're going to share, but you're going to want to just write down the five things you're going to execute on. Now, the cool thing about this program is that we do record it so you can get the recorded version after today's program at our YouTube station. It's youtube.com backslash layer training. So let's just say you write down your five items that you're going to go execute on. And then uh, you finish those in two weeks. You've finished your list. You've executed on those five items. Then you just come back, uh, watch the uh, training program again. When you're on YouTube, you can kind of fast forward to the areas that you're most interested in and come back and pick five more things that you can go execute on your business. As we like to remind our agents, knowledge is not power, execution is power. It's really important to execute. Execution is the name of the game. So I'll try to point out some areas that I think are really important for you to execute on as we go throughout today's program. But uh, it's a good idea to have it all written out so that uh, you don't miss out on your five items. So with that, I want to give everybody just a little background on who we are. Lair Realty is an independent real estate brokerage. Uh, we have offices in New England, specifically Massachusetts, New Hampshire, uh, although we also do business in uh, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Maine. Uh, we are also have several offices throughout Florida. So uh, we help about 4,000 families a year buy and sell real estate. We have almost 800 real estate agents. And our goal from the very beginning has been to attract great real estate agents and build great real estate agents. So people ask, where did the name Lair come from? Well, at the very beginning, nine years ago, before we even had a name for the brokerage, we had hired a branding agency and they asked, what is the goal? And we told them it's to attract and build great real estate agents. And the branding companies asked, well, what makes a great real estate agent? And we said, the best agents are strong. They're negotiators of difficult terrain, just meaning the best agents are really good at overcoming obstacles. And the best agents are true protectors of their clients. Uh, they don't focus on the paycheck first. The money comes later. They focus on taking great care of their buyers and sellers. So at the time, we put all those words into a Google search to see what would come up. So we typed in strong, protector, negotiator, and a lion came up in our search. So we said, that's it. We're going to build our brand around the lions of real estate. In the jungle, lions hang out in layers. In the real estate world, the lions of real estate are at lair. We changed the uh, spelling of lair because ours is the mirror image of real since we are in the real estate business. And then we created the acronym Local Agents Extraordinary Results. So I tell people sometimes you see homes that have lion statues on the walkway or in front of the home. That is because the lion is a symbol of protection for the home. 
we look at it that there's a new symbol of protection for real estate across New England and Florida, and that is our layer for sale signs. So with that, we're about nine years old. We're one of uh, the largest real estate brokerages in the country, just based on the amount of business we do. And what we're most proud of is that every year we continue to grow both in agents and business. And it just shows that our goal of uh, attracting and building great real estate agents is being accomplished one agent at a time. So what you guys are looking at on the screen is our layer program and services guide. This does change throughout the year. Uh, you can always get the most recent copy of our program and services guide at layerrealty.com. So L-A-E-R realty.com backslash success tools. It'll always have the most recent version and it'll always have the date at the bottom. So you can make sure uh, that the one you're watching on bootcamp uh, matches the one that you have that you're working off of. So when you go to layerrealty.com backslash success tools, if you scroll to the bottom of that page underneath the version where you can kind of flip through, uh, you can download a PDF version of this. Sometimes agents like to download the PDF and print it out so that they can take notes in the book as they're watching the program. Um, so let's start digging into today's content. Now, this layer program and services guide, a couple things I do want to point out. As you go through the guide, anytime you see something underlined in the guide, that is a hyperlink to more information. So the reason we designed this guide is so that our agents would have a book that they could go to and kind of flip through and know what tools and resources they have. But we also want to show them how best to utilize those tools and services. So when you go to the pages, you'll see hyperlinks to more information about uh, the tool or products being spoken of or little tutorial videos on how best to use the tool or product within the guide. Now, the first few pages of this booklet are the layer um, cultural values. These are important because as we grow as a brokerage, we always tell agents, make sure your values align with the values of the brokerage you're going to. That way you know that you're going to be there for a little while, uh, that you know that everything matches up so that it's a great place for you to build your business. We spell out all of our cultural values. So there's 30 of them. And as you'll see, they're kind of all spelled out. And we do refer to these regularly throughout the year. From there on, after you get past that section, you'll see each page is set up as a tool or resource um, that you have for your business. Now, here's the first one where you'll see layer agent services is underlined. That means it's a hyperlink to more information. So as you're going through your booklet, Anytime you see something that's underlined, you know you can hover over it, click on it, and it's going to take you somewhere else to either bring you to a page that is the product that is featured in that page, or it's going to bring you to tutorials on how best to use that product. So uh, the most important or one of the biggest tools that our agents use on a regular basis is our layer agent services uh, page. I'm going to click on that. This is our agent dashboard. So this is kind of the one-stop place that our agents go to on a regular basis for all the tools, training, technology. Uh, if you're a layer agent, you know that we've had the career den for many years, which is a password protected version of this. And we've been slowly migrating everything over to this page just because it's easier to navigate for our uh, agents. Now, I mentioned, even if you are not a layer agent, there's lots of information in here that you will find very helpful. 
So again, we're at LairAgentServices.com, and this is our agent services dashboard. Tons of information, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of great information designed to help you build a successful real estate business. So I'm going to take you guys on a little bit of a tour, some of the cool stuff that you'll want to check out on here. So right at the top of the page, you're going to find the layer news. If you click on that, it's going to take you to our monthly newsletter. This is internal. So one of the things I like to point out right at the very beginning is we talk a lot about newsletters today, and there's three different types of newsletters we're going to be talking about. This particular newsletter is an internal company newsletter designed for our agents. And I always say it's a good idea to click on it and read it once a month. If you're a Lair agent, you're going to find out so much great stuff about what's happening with your fellow agents. But also uh, for anybody reading it, you're going to find all kinds of cool tools that our committees are working on, things like that. So this is our Lair Den. This is an internal company newsletter. And you'll see who joined recently throughout the company. We always feature one of our staff members. Uh, you can go get older versions of it as well as you're clicking through. And basically, it's a four-page newsletter. And you'll see, like, for example... Uh, the tech update section for this month talks about a really cool uh, technology called HomeBot. And this is one of those set it and forget it systems for your business, uh, which we always tell our agents, you're, you guys are going to see some of those set it and forget it systems today. But as you grow your real estate business, you will depend on set it and forget it systems. It's essential because it's the only way to scale. Because as you guys know, you are the CEO of your business. You are the primary salesperson. You are oftentimes the transaction coordinator. You are the marketing department. You are the technology person. Um, so anytime we can find something that will just make your life easier, we we get it in front of you. So this month in our newsletter, we featured HomeBot, really cool technology that will just email both buyers and sellers um, like a home value report on a monthly basis. Um, we always talk about what's happening in the Mindful Monday. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, we have a sustainability section, a movies with purpose section, uh, anything happening, for example, if any of you guys are volunteering or, or spend a great deal of time working with a particular nonprofit, uh, there's information on here on how to apply for the National Association of Realtors Good Neighbor Award, where you could potentially get $10,000 grant for your nonprofit. And then uh, for this month, just based on the market we're going through, uh, we talk about the new normal market. Where are the opportunities in the new normal market? So we have nine different opportunities for agents to lean into in the new normal market. So I uh, want to encourage everybody that if you haven't checked out our uh, The Lair Den, this goes out every single month and you can get all the older versions down here. Also, if you are a layer agent and you want to submit something for inclusion, because you guys will see, like we have a little section about uh, who's having babies, who has a, a recent accomplishment, things like that. So if you have news that you want to report, you just go to layerrealty.com backslash news and fill out the news that you want to report. And that'll get it over to our news team. So it'll end up in next month's newsletter. So that's the layer news. Um, so again, that's an internal news. We're going to talk about the other kind of newsletters for agents to send out. We have two versions of newsletters that agents can send out. One is an email newsletter and one is a print newsletter that are created for you on a monthly basis if you're a layer agent, but we'll cover those a little bit later. Uh, next is the Mindful Monday. Uh, as you guys know, every Monday I write a column called the Mindful Monday, and 
all kinds of different things for you to consider uh, as far as being a good thinker. So really digging into your thoughts and mindfulness. So you can get all of the past copies. We're now up to like issue 119, 120. Uh, you can get all of the past issues of the Mindful Monday right there. Let's go back. Uh, you can see who recently joined. This is our new agent section. So you'll see the most recent ones. And then if you want to see who's joined, for example, in the last 30 or 60 days, you can click on view more and it'll tell you some of the other agents that have recently joined. And then the meat of the program is at the very bottom. Now, one of the things that we're really proud about is we try to keep the layer agent services as simple as possible. That's why you'll see most there's most of it's not password protected. You can get into it uh, very easily. There's tons of marketing stuff, listing presentations, buyer presentations, pre-listing packages, etc. cetera. Um, for some of you guys that come on to our bootcamp regularly, you'll see some great new tools. As many of you know, we add to this all the time. So our marketing team comes up with something new or different or cool. We add it immediately to Lair Agent Services. So this is always changing. So let's go explore some of the stuff down at the bottom here, some of these buttons. First, you have all of your office locations. So a um, couple things that you'll want to check out on that particular button. First of all, if you're looking for a particular office, why would you be looking for an office? Um, maybe you have a referral. So let's say you're a Massachusetts agent and you want to refer to a Florida agent and you want to go find one of our agents in that nearby marketplace. The best thing to do is just click on our offices. You could see all of our office locations throughout Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Florida. If you click on any of these, it'll take you over to a page that has a, all of the agents. How do you pick somebody that's good for a marketplace? I think there's a few things that identify an agent who's like on, really on top of their game. I always say look for an updated professional photo, an updated professional bio within their um, within the website. Those are two clues that somebody is very engaged in their business. Um, and some of them you'll see like agents add testimonials from their cl past clients, et cetera. So that's just all of our office locations. And that's an easy way to find all the agents uh, at Lair if you're looking, for example, for a referral. Next, accessing a Lair office. If you're a Lair agent, we have tons of offices. Let's just say you're meeting a client on Saturday and it's in a marketplace. You don't normally work that marketplace, but you know there's a layer office in that marketplace. You're welcome to go utilize that office. Just click on access a layer office. It gives you a list of all the offices that you're able to access. And you put in your name, your layer email address, and the system will email you all the information for accessing that office. And then last is a calendar of our staff schedules. So this is cool for Lair agents as well. Let's just say you have a customer dropping off something. They're dropping off a check or a signed document. And you just want to find out when the staff is going to be available at a particular office. All the time, our agents are like, let's just say you work in the Northboro office, but your client works in Westford and they want to drop off the check at a Westford Mass office. You can go on here and just look at the staff schedule and um, find out when the Westford staff is gonna be there so that that staff member can make the deposit, for example. Let's go back. All right, next, there's a whole section here for getting paid. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this today, but if you're a brand new layer agent, a couple things we want you to know. Number one, we want to make it as simple as possible for you not to have to go to an office unless you feel like going to an office. So I highly recommend whether no matter what state you're doing business in, 
if you're if you have a listing and your client needs or the buyer of the property who's usually working with a buyer agent needs to put a deposit on a property an initial deposit or a second deposit i tell agents just send the buyer agent this link so you just go to the very top of this and it's layerrealty.com backslash earnest. There's two N's in earnest. Uh, you send them that link. So you have a listing. We need funds to be collected. Why well, have somebody get in their vehicle, drive to an office to drop off a check? That's like 1990s. So what we do instead is you just send the buyer agent. Here's an easy link that your customer right from their house can transfer the escrow funds. This is for all of our marketplaces. So if you're in Florida, the customer just clicks on Florida escrow deposit or New Hampshire escrow deposit or Massachusetts escrow deposit. And as once that deposit comes through, they fill out what property address it's for. Because they do that, we know which agent it's associated with. So we let you know there's a couple steps in the process. As soon as the person starts the process of um, an ACH withdrawal of escrow, as soon as they start the process, we get notified. And we as a brokerage then notify our agent and say this client has started the ACH transfer. It does take a couple of days for it to go through, just like it does for a check, by the way. So it's the same thing with any um, check that you'd be collecting. It takes a couple of days for it to clear, but we let you know at each step of the way. We say, okay, it's been started. And then a few days later, we say, okay, it's cleared. We have the funds now. So that you have everything you need and nobody has to get in their car. So I'm a huge fan of layerrealty.com. Uh, backslash earnest for collecting your escrow deposits. You don't have to do it this way, but it's simple. Um, you're welcome to still go and collect checks if that's how you prefer to do it. Uh, let's see. Go back to getting paid. The other thing I just want to point out for our layer agents uh, is the check request. So uh, once you have a closing that is happening either happened or about to happen the way that our bookkeeping team gets notified that you're going to be looking to get paid on a transaction is through the check request this is just the online form you fill out and it tells us basic information are we holding money or are we expecting money do we owe a check to anybody else besides our agent uh, sometimes we owe money to a title company or to a co-broke it's all on the check request once that's done, it notifies our bookkeeping department that uh, our agent is looking for a check on a closing. The system will also go in and verify that we have a completed file, like all the forms required to for compliance for the file. One thing that's really cool about working for an independent company is that we don't have huge listing and offer packages. We're not a public company, which means we're not out trying to protect shareholders with our listing and offer packages, which is what happens with some of the big real estate brokerages. We're an independent real estate company, so we have minimal forms. We require what the states require. So whatever the state mandated documents are, those end up in the packages. So let's go back to some more fun stuff. That was all under getting paid. Next up, we have our business planning tools. I'm going to spend a few minutes here with you guys um, because there's some really cool tools on here for building your business. We're in at the beginning of March. It's still not super crazy busy, even though spring market is literally right around the corner. It's still a great time to really look at your business from the last 12 months and figure out where exactly is your business going to come from for the next 12 months and what steps can you take in order to increase business. It's definitely going to be a more challenging year. Uh, all of the experts are saying that there will be less, less transactions sold this year than 
previous years. That is because so many homeowners are locked into their very low interest rates of 2%, which makes it very difficult to move when the going interest rate is 7%. So people don't just say, I want a different house or a bigger house or a smaller house. They have to think harder about it because the repercussion of leaving their current house is a significantly higher interest rate and payment. So um, everybody in our industry is going to have to work harder to do the same amount of business as previous years. And with that, we have a few different business planning tools to help you achieve your goal. Now, the best tool, in my opinion, is the first one, which is the Algorwin system. I'll go back to that one in a second. Uh, before we get there, I want to just cover the other three on here. Number one, business planning guide. If you click on the business planning guide, so this is for any agent. I know that we have agents on here that are not lair agents. Any agent can click on this and get a really awesome business planning booklet. It's taking a minute to load only because my internet here is a little bit slow. Um, so this is a complete 45 page business planning manual. This is the traditional type of business planning manual you see in our industry. And it really helps you like examine what you did last year. So it helps you like focus, what is it that you need to make? How much money do you need to make in your business? And then um, where did that business come from last year? So looking at what your income was last year, and then where did the business come from? And where is your money being spent? Like your marketing budget, things like that. So this is a really great tool for kind of figuring out your focus for this year. I'll also tell you this booklet is really great if you're running a team. As part of one of your beginning of the year team meetings, it's really great to bring your whole team together and have copies of the booklet out and just have everybody fill in the blanks together so that everybody works at a goal, that everybody is having a direction that they're moving in for the year. So that's just our business planning. That's just our regular real estate business planning guide. Secondly, we also created one late last year, which is slightly li a little bit different than the business planning guide that you just saw. This one really focuses on if you want a different result in your business this year than you had last year, then you have to do things differently. So you can't be running your business exactly the same as you did last year, because if you run it exactly as you did last year, we already said you're going to do less business. So this kind of forces you to look at your current, it takes different segments of your business and um, has you take a look at where you are currently and then where you plan on being one year from now. And then what steps are you going to have to take to bridge the gap between where you are right this moment to where you want to go? So like, for example, online reputation. Uh, so you'll see it talks about what pages come up in a search for you, like on a web search. And then one year from now, what is it going to look like? Um, lead sources. So it breaks down each piece of your business database, buyer, seller, investor packages. So it goes into what your business looks like this year, which is the old you. This is all the things that the old you does. And then in order to get to where you want for that segment of your business, what is the new you going to look like? So it's just a different take on a business plan because different plans work for different people. Um, and then we also have a cool income producing activity worksheet. This is helpful, especially like the last few months for some agents have been kind of slow 
And when things get slow, people get jittery and say, what should I be doing? Well, a great place to go look is this income producing activities worksheet. This is all the things that you could be doing. So if you have a slow afternoon and you want to be doing something that can generate future income, what are some of the things you could do? So just a nice, simple little income producing uh, checklist. And then the last piece is our Algorwin system. This is a big one. So let's click here for a second. This is brand new. It's less than 30 days old, but it's been a good year in the making for this product. And we wanted to create a booklet. So this is a whole book on, it's a business growth system for real estate agents. Um, you can get, if you look at the top, the link to get directly here is layerrealty.com backslash Algorwin. And this is a booklet. There's all kinds of additional documents you can download here, including um, you can download the entire booklet. So if you download the booklet, let's just open the booklet for a second. Actually, I'm going to go over to my Canva. If you go to download the booklet, it asks you some information. So it has you fill out your name, uh, email address, and just some questions in general about your business, only because we're we're curious about who, who, what type of agents are utilizing this really cool resource. So this is, I don't even like to call it a business planning system because we tried to move away from a business planning system. This is a growth system. This is something that um, you, it, it keeps you on track. Uh, it has a yearly checklist of things you must do, a monthly checklist, a weekly checklist, and then a per transaction checklist. And what we did as an organization, we really looked at our highest performing real estate agents. We have many agents within our organization that our highest performing team did about $90 million in real estate business. We have lots of 20, 30, $40 million sales associates. And we looked at why is it that some agents make the business look super easy and other agents try to do, seem to be doing all the right things and don't see the results. So we built a system where we believe if you do these certain things, our certain checklists, you'll close 30 transactions a year. Um, so you can download and print out this book. Um, as you go through this book, all of these, um, right on the table of contents, you can click on any of these and it'll take you to the page that you're looking at or that you want to see. Because the way we've set up the system is four parts. And the four parts is just number one, what is AlgorWin, which is, it's our algorithm for winning in the real estate business. And then it goes into like, what are some of the traps? It then goes into all of the checklists, which are part of the program. And then it goes into uh, process tracking sheets. So you can track your success. And then the last part of the book is anything we advise you to do within this booklet, uh, we tell you how to do it. So for example, we tell you it's really important to follow up. You should have a 10-day follow-up campaign for every cold lead that comes into you. So we tell you what the 10-day follow-up campaign should be. So there's nothing in this book where we say, this is what you should do, go figure out how to do it. Instead, we say, this is what you should be doing. And here's step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. Um, so as you go through this booklet, uh, as I mentioned, it talks about what Algorwin is. And basically, we know that there is an algorithm for success for real estate agents, that there are certain agents that do these steps per every week, every month, and every year. And then they also do certain steps every time they have a new listing, a new buyer, uh, a new seller appointment. So we 
we created the checklist for that. So all of our checklists, and there's only seven checklists all together. So this is not a complicated system. It's learning seven checklists. And we give them to you so you can just print them out. Learning seven checklists and then tracking yourself to make sure that you're following the seven checklists. So this processes, uh, because we want you to see if you don't have your 30 transactions closed at the end of the year, we want you to see where the holes were, why you don't have it. Now, one thing that you'll notice on here is um, it's not just about real estate. So you're going to see on these checklists that some of it is like scheduling your gym and your vacation and your personal events and stuff like that. And what's really interesting is the agents that do the most business all take vacation. They go to the gym regularly. So all of this has been worked into the system. Um, we also work in, you'll see this on the checklist. And I only point this out because these checklists are not heavy lifting. There's only seven checklists. And the longest checklist is 12 items. Most of the checklists are just nine items on the checklist. But for example, gratitude. So you'll see on one of the checklists, and I'm going to go through them in a couple minutes, um, it requires you to write out what you're grateful for weekly. And we have little areas for you to fill in. That's because gratitude is a vibration. And if you want to attract more business, then the only way to attract business, and this is super important, especially if you're experiencing the fear of a quiet market, because this is what we see out there right now is January, February, March are typically slower months. Uh, that is exacerbated by the fact this year that we've had a few years that were not a normal real estate market. So last year, it wasn't very quiet in January, February, and March. The market was still inundated and the interest rates were still super low. So what we see now is real estate agents feeling fear because the market is slow, which is traditional for our business, except for the last two years. So what's really interesting about that is if you continue to feel fear for your business, you will not attract the business that you want to do. So how do you get yourself out of a negative vibration, a negative spiral, so that you start attracting the business that you want to be doing? One of the ways to do that is gratitude. So as part of the checklist system, which I'll go through the checklist in a few minutes, uh, we incorporate gratitude into the system. Uh, we talk about some of the traps of the Algorwin system. One of the biggest traps of this system is it's simple. So it's super, it's so easy. And anything that is easy to do is equally easy not to do. Uh, so what's going to prevent you from doing the system? It's too easy. That's basically it. Uh, distractions will um, prevent you from completing the system. Perfection will prevent you from doing the system. Excuses will prevent you from completing the system. Altering the checklist. This is a big one because sometimes agents will go through and say, well, I'm going to tweak the system. And by all means, it's your real estate business. You can do what you would like. We just tell you that if you change this system, if you tweak the system, it's no longer the same system. So we can't say you can expect 30 transactions a year by doing these items if you're going to go change the items. Um, sometimes what prevents us from accomplishing the system is that we are control freaks. As real estate agents, we like to do everything. Um, as you'll see, as you as the system begins to attract business for you, you have to give up some of the control of it um, and delegate to other people that can assist. 
follow-up is one of the downfalls where agents kind of fall off the horse. You have to be really good at following up with people. And this book gives you everything you need for follow-up. So how does the system work? Well, we give you a 12-step um, annual checklist. So once a year, we say do these 12 items. So once a year, here's the 12 item checklist. And these are the things to get your business ready for the rest of the year. The most important checklist of them all is that first one. Because what happens is if you don't do those 12 items, you're not setting yourself up for success for the monthly and weekly checklists. That means, so for example, as part of the 12, um, as part of the annual checklist, which is only 12 steps, it tells you update your photo of yourself. Make sure that you have a nice bio about yourself because that's like the first place people go when they're searching for a real estate agent or get referred to a real estate agent is they Google the person. So if you're not going to take those steps right at the beginning to set yourself up properly, then it's going to be harder for you to have great results on the other checklists. Uh, once you do your 12 items on the yearly checklist, we then have a monthly checklist and a weekly checklist. So once you get those three checklists going regularly, your yearly, your monthly, and your weekly checklist, then you're going to start to see some business come in. It's only natural that business is going to start coming in. That means now you have to merge in some additional checklists into your business because now you've got business coming in. You can't stop doing the other checklists. You still got to do those, but those are not a heavy lifting. That's like an hour a month maybe an hour a week, not even an hour a week. Um, you still got to do those, but now you're going to merge in these additional checklists. Um, your new listing checklist, new buyer checklist, seller appointment checklist, client appreciation checklist. Um, we then set up these process tracking sheets for you. The reason for that is because um, we want you to be able to see your results. So first of all, we don't want you focusing on, I've done everything and I haven't had a new listing appointment in three months. Just focus on checking off boxes on your sheet. If you keep checking off boxes, the business is going to come. But if you have holes on your process tracking, then you're going to have holes in your business. That means the business is not going to come as quickly. So. Um, I'm not going to go through all of this. I will tell you that there's a um, class. You can download this booklet um, at layerrealty.com backslash Algerwin. You can download the entire booklet. And you can also go to our uh, YouTube station, youtube.com backslash Lair, L-A-E-R, training. And you can watch, we developed a whole class around this system. Um, but here's, for example, this is your yearly action checklist. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 items to do on this checklist. Next, you have your monthly action checklist. These are the things you do once a month. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things that you do once a month. And you'll see it's no heavy lifting. You're going to send a mailer out, uh, add 20 people to your database, schedule and plan your open house. Um, we then have a weekly action checklist, still nine items that you have to do once a week. And that includes like going to the gym is one of the items or listening to a real estate podcast. Um, here's your gratitude list that we talked about, like getting your vibration in the right place every single week. Um, your new buyer action checklist. So these are the merging checklists. So you'll see a little merge sign at the top. Uh, your new buyer action checklist, your new seller appointment checklist, nine items. Um, your new listing. So you get a new listing. Here's the nine items. All of these checklists are designed 
to be marketing for more business for you as you do business. So the, the yearly, weekly, and monthly checklists are designed to help you stimulate your business. Then once you start getting business, we use those listings and those buyers to get you more business. So that's why it's so important to stick to the checklist. Uh, we also have a client appreciation checklist because one of the things you'll see as part of the yearly checklist is to schedule four client appreciation events each year. They don't have to cost you money. You, super easy to do a low to no cost event through working with your sponsors. Um, and then after that, it gives you all of the process tracking sheets so that you can track your success. These are meant to be printed and track your success uh, throughout each week and um, through each transaction. Because basically we tell you that um, if you follow our checklist, you're gonna do 30 transactions a year, but you're not gonna do 30 transactions a year if your entire process tracking sheet is blank. So that's where you're going to be able to see your results. And then the end of the book, part four of the book is it kind of goes through like the minimum standards of what it takes to be successful, um, how to set up and build your database. Um, so as part of the yearly checklist, we talk about the importance of your database. So all of this, you'll see there's little classes embedded into this and how to do everything. Um, how to check your online reputation. Um, there's a whole section. We tell you to sign up for as many lead programs as possible, especially referral fee-based lead platforms. And you can go through here and click through each of these and sign up for each of the referral fee platforms. You, if you're working with cold leads, which many of you will be if you're working through our system, um, we have a 10 day follow-up campaign for new leads. So here's your campaign. It's a mix of calls, emails, and texts over 10 days for every new cold lead that you receive in your business. Um, let's see what else we have. Scripts, we tell you, I think it's once a week to make a call like a, call out of your comfort zone for sale by owner expired listing. We give you the script right here, exactly what to say. Um, we have weekly, we tell you to text your clients, past clients and champions once a week. What do you say? We have it all embedded within the book. Um, pop buys are going by and visiting uh, past clients or referral sources or even family regularly as part of the system. We show you, don't go out empty handed, bring a small item of value. And all of that is embedded within the booklet. Um, let's see, social media posting, um, interviewing your vendors, things like that. Literally, I don't think we've forgotten anything uh, within this book. Everything to have a super successful real estate business. Again, I encourage everybody to go download the book, LairRealty.com backslash Algerwin and download the booklet and the materials and read through it. And then also go to our YouTube station, YouTube.com backslash Lair Training, L-A-E-R Training, and watch. It's a one hour program on how to organize all this for your business. But this Algerwin system is going to be the answer to the 2023 real estate market for many real estate agents, because it makes sure that every single day you have a direction for your business. Uh, and that's basically it. So all of this, by the way, we'll just go back for a moment. I'm going to close out a couple of these. Um, all of this is under the business planning tool section of Lair Agent Services. So as you can see, we're about one hour into our boot camp, and we've only covered a couple of buttons on the Lair Agent Services, and that was under business planning tools. So again, there's a few different business planning options. 
the one that is the most thorough, which is really more than a business planning system. It is a business growth system is Algorware. So I started today's program and said, it's a good idea to write down the five things you're going to go execute on when you leave today's program. And if you're not sure where your business is going to come from over the next 12 months, because I promise for every real estate agent, the market is going to be more difficult than it was last year. That's for every real estate agent. So if you're not sure where your business is going to come this or come from this year, Algorwin is the answer. It is going to make sure that you have direction because there's lots and lots of real estate agents that wake up every day and they're just not sure where they're going to, like what to work on to create the next transaction. Because many agents over the last two years, the phone just rang, the business just kept coming. It's not going to be like that anymore. We're going to have to go get the business. And Algorwin is the system for telling you exactly how to do that. So that's all under the business planning tools section of layer agent services. Next, this is, we're going on to the second row now, commercial real estate. This is the first time we're even showing this on uh, our bootcamp because this little section is brand new. So we have lots of agents that came to us through our committees and said, we want some tools for uh, commercial real estate. If we go out and we're doing a listing for a commercial property or working with a commercial buyer, uh, we need some tools. So we just started building this out, but there's already thousands of dollars worth of tools on here if you're considering doing some commercial real estate. First, we created a commercial listing presentation slash guide. So when you click on this, it's going to open in Canva toolbox. So uh, you open this. It's probably a good time to mention all of our marketing tools are created in Canva. Um, there's no better marketing platform in our opinion. Uh, we strongly recommend, and we'll have Sergio from our marketing team do a little presentation shortly for you. We strongly, strongly recommend that um, that you um, buy the upgraded version of Canva. I think it's $12.99 a month. So there is a free version and a $12.99 version. The $12.99 version is well worth the funds. So this is the commercial presentation. This is a 25-page presentation booklet. Um, so on the front, you'll want to go in and customize this to you, put in your picture and your bio. Um, and then the rest of it is like understanding the commercial transaction, uh, what is commercial real estate, the basics, tips to selling a property, benefits of buying a property. Uh, all of it talks about like due diligence, the closing, asset management, 1031 exchanges, commercial lending. Uh, it's got key takeaways. So uh, all of this, by the way, is fully customizable. So as an agent, you can go in and add your picture, take out whatever you want. You can delete pages, uh, but it's a pretty impressive 25 page uh, presentation that can be used for both buyers and sellers if you're working on some commercial real estate. Additionally, we have a um, really nice commercial listing presentation like a brochure so if you have like a commercial brochure or a commercial listing and you want to do a really nice brochure for that property um this is it so this is like an 18 page and this is like a landscape style so you'd go upload your own pictures to it but um we wanted to give you a template to work off of so that you can have, with one hour's work, a really nice presentation to show to um, your client. 
And then we have a cool spreadsheet in here. I'm not going to sign into this yet, but this is a Google um, spreadsheet and it helps you value commercial real estate. So that's all of the commercial real estate section. And we're still adding to that regularly. Uh, again, all of this, everything for the most part we've shown today, any agent can has access to it. Next, the open house assistance. This is for layer agents. Um, if you're a layer agent and you have a bunch of listings and you need some help with open houses, we want to be able to help you and get those covered. So we have lots of agents that have 10 listings, for example, and they can't do all of their 10 listing open houses, but we have lots of agents that wanna host those open houses on their behalf. So if you're a listing agent and you have an abundance of listings and you don't have the time to do all of your open houses, give those to our other agents. You just click here, need open house coverage, fill out this little form, and then you tell us which offices you would like to notify about the open house opportunity. So if you are agent at Lair, you've probably seen these emails come occasionally where it'll say open house alert. And that means there's an agent looking for open house coverage. Always those get covered. So um, there's always somebody in our 800 agents looking to do an open house. So there is no reason why you would have to do an open house um, unless you want to do them. Let's see, going back here. We also have the same thing for broker open houses. We encourage our layer agents to support each other. So if you're doing a broker open house, we wanna get as many agents there as possible. So just click on broker open house notification, fill out a quick form about your listing, and that's gonna notify our agents that there's a broker open house coming because we want our the rest of our team to uh, come support your open house. So that's under open house assistant. If you're a new agent at Lair, we have a little section here for agents that just joined. Number one, we created a cool onboarding checklist. These are kind of all the little things you need to remember when you move brokerages from, you know, like updating your social media, your LinkedIn, updating your bio. There's tons of places online where you have your company name. So we kind of give you a nice, easy checklist of the stuff that you need to update when you join our brokerage. We also have Lair GPS. At this link, we have all the most common questions that agents ask when they are looking for something at Lair. So if you click on Lair GPS, um, it's just like typical questions. It's like FAQ, um, stuff that agents ask. And it's got a cool little, you can search for an article at the top. But we've answered about 200 questions, like the most common questions that agents have when they join a brokerage. We put them on there. We have Canva social media announcements. We have a Canva text announcements letter announcements, postcard announcements. We've created all different templates for announcements uh, to make it super easy. And let's go back. That's all under just joined layer. Uh, we have lots of Google templates. So our layer brokerage has, we give to our agents as part of their email package, a whole Google suite of products. So you get uh, Google Sheets, uh, Google Documents, Google Folders, uh, everything's in there. So if you are a big fan of using Google stuff, we've created a little suite of products you can use. These are like online buyer questionnaires, seller questionnaires, um, also some really cool business planning tools like we have, you can track your whole business on Google. So we've created all the templates for it there. If you're using Google, go check out the Google templates. Uh, marketing requests. So the marketing request button, 
as you know, if you're a layer agent, we do all of your marketing. So you get a new listing, we're going to create all of your marketing pieces. Uh, every Monday, you guys get all of your social media marketing. It's created for you already. It gets texted to you. Um, but sometimes agents want something else. So for example, maybe you have a listing that's not on the market yet, and you want us to create a brochure. Now, our team automatically creates your marketing pieces because MLS notifies us. You put in a new listing, we get notified you have a new listing, and our marketing team creates all the pieces for you. But maybe you got a listing coming up and you want to impress the seller with showing them a sample marketing piece. You can go in and request marketing pieces right here. Uh, let's click on it just so you could see. Um, you can request a marketing piece. The other thing that we get lots of requests for is market snapshots. So let's just say you want a social media piece that tells what is happening in your market. You just fill out the request a market snapshot and you put in what town or what county you want the snapshot for. And our team will create a social media piece about that marketplace. So it'll say like average days on market, average price, is it up or down, year over year stats. That way you could share it to social media. So that's all under marketing requests. Uh, next up, guides, presentations, and brochures. <clears throat> this one's really important. Because um, I said at the beginning of the program to write down the five things that you're going to go execute on for your business if you have not already executed. One of the things you should go execute on is the algorithm guide if you're worried about where your business is going to come from this year. Uh, go print out the algorithm guide and watch the algorithm training program on youtube.com backslash layer training. Uh, the next thing I'm going to encourage everybody to do is that you should have a really nice buyer package, a seller package, and an investor package. So these are packages that if a buyer, you run into a buyer at Starbucks this morning while you're going to get your cappuccino and you meet somebody in line, they're like, oh, I'm thinking about buying a house. You want to be like, I will run out to my car. I'll be right back. I have a package for you. And you come back in and you have a shock and awe package. It is like in a layer folder or whatever brokerage you're with. It's in a folder and you got a guide on buying a house. You have a printout about your brokerage. You have a printout about the steps to buying a home. Something that's really impressive that people are like, wow, this person has their act together. Same with sellers. Uh, you want a really nice package for sellers and you want to have a really nice package for investors. Well, everything you need to make your packages is right here. So all of these, for the most part, are Google templates. There's a couple that are not, but mostly these are Google templates. Uh, I'm sorry, Canva templates. So let's just say you want a buyer guide. You open it. This opens in Canva. Um, and then use template. And this is a beautiful booklet about buying a house. So I think it's 16, yeah, 16 pages and it's about buying a house. It's in Canva. This is a template. So you can change anything. If you want to change out a photo or anything you want. So this takes about five minutes to go customize. So you want to just add your contact information, your photo, a bio about you uh, right at the front, and then you print it out and bind it. And you have a 16 page booklet about what makes you a great buyer agent. Um, we have them for everything. So let's go back to the guides. We have a whole guide on investing in real estate a guide on selling real estate. We have, if you're a layer agent, we have a four page brochure about layer. We have a booklet about like just a one page form that looks like a monopoly board, which is kind of cool because it's the buying process shown on a monopoly board. Um, 
if you're a layer agent, I always encourage agents to also include the layer sustainability report. We're one of the only brokerages in the whole country that has a chief sustainability officer. So why not include that report inside your buyer and seller packages in case you have a buyer or seller that is concerned with sustainability. Uh, we have a listing presentation. Uh, more listing tools if you're a layer agent. These are additional printouts that you can include in your packages. Uh, this is cool. This is like a little local guide to your marketplace. And this is all customizable too. So let's click on the little local guide. So this is meant, let's just say you're in West Palm Beach, Florida. This is a cool little guide that you would, it's a two page little booklet that you make so that let's say you have a listing in West Palm Beach and this is a cool little booklet to have out at your open house with a locals guide to West Palm Beach and you put like your favorite farmer's market your favorite bookstore your favorite breakfast joint so super easy to do takes about 15 to 20 minutes to customize this to your market and then you have a cool little printout that you can give out to people with your name and phone number at um, your open house. We also have vendor guide. So one of the parts of the Algorwin system is we tell you how to develop your vendors, the people you work with, both um, in the real estate industry, your mortgage or title, like all of those, how to develop those into referral sources, but also the other vendors you work with. The person that maybe mows your lawn, the cleaner, the your hairdresser, your dry cleaner, how do you develop those into referral sources? So that's why we have a vendor list and this is all customizable in Canva so that you have a document that you can start putting together your favorite vendors because this is gonna go into all of your buyer and seller packages uh, and investor packages as well. Uh, if you're a layer agent, we do have AdWorks, a cool pay-per-click program. So we're advertising your listings and uh, there's a flyer about that there. We're going to cover that a little more a bit later. Uh, also, this is going to become important when the market does officially change. So over the last two years, many agents got away from having to give their sellers an update each week of what's happening on their listing because the market was so hot. You put a house on the market and it sold pretty quickly. Uh, but if you were in real estate like me for the last 20 plus years, there were lots of years where you would get a listing and it would sit on the market for quite some time. And that meant every week you had to give an update to your seller so that they didn't get antsy or because you needed a price reduction. So this is a cool report that you can put together each week for your seller. Um, and this is all under, this is still under the uh, guides, brochures and presentation section of the layer agent services. And then we have a little walkthrough checklist. These are just like little marketing pieces, but these are important, especially having a buyer package, a seller package, and an investor package, and they should all be done. Like you should have at least 10 completed um, packages for each buyer, seller, investor for your business. Let's go back. All right, that was all under guides, presentations, and brochures. Again, that should be number two on what you execute on. If you don't already have a buyer guide, a seller guide, an investor guide, that should be number two, what you go in um, execute on of your top five things you're going to execute on today. Uh, social media. We're going to spend more time on this. We'll have uh, Sergio do a little presentation on social media for you shortly. But as you guys know, as a layer agent, every Monday we send you all of your social media um, stuff so that you don't have to create content ever. We create all of your content on a weekly basis. Um, classes, meetings, and coaching. 
This is important. So this is where you can find all the stuff happening at Lair. Even if you're not a Lair agent, we open up a great deal of our stuff for any agent. So even if you're at a different brokerage and you want to see our uh, training or anything we're doing, you can go here and check it out. You'll see you guys already made it to the boot camp, so you know what that is. Uh, but you can go to our YouTube training station. We have Lair University that has hundreds and hundreds of classes, uh, forms training. So the forms training is great if you're a new agent because we created little tutorials on Mass, New Hampshire, and Florida real estate forms. Uh, and then if you're an agent interested in being coached, we have a great coaching program. You can click here and find out more. Uh, tech tools. These are some of the tech tools that our agents use regularly. So first of all, we're going to go through the Lair tech bundle in a little bit. Um, Lair has, for agents that want it, a $39 per month tech bundle. And it is optional. You don't have to sign up for our tech bundle. But if you do, we have three products that are included in there. Isaac, Boston Logic, and Real Scout. This is the three products. Uh, we're going to go over that in a little bit. But this is where you can go find like the sign-in. Um, first of all, these three pages just give you more information on those products. But then this is the area of all the sign-in areas for the different products that our agents use. Uh, but there's also some other cool tools that we recommend. So anytime we see something really cool in the marketplace, uh, we put it down here. We don't get paid anything from these. Like this is not because we're looking for kickbacks from these companies. We just think the products are awesome. Uh, you'll see that over in the marketing or the uh, promotional material stuff. Anytime there's a great company we know about, we're featuring it on our site so our agents know about it. Three cool tools that we highly recommend for our agents. Number one, Showami. Showami is an app. Have you ever, like, you're ready to go on vacation and somebody all of a sudden wants to see that house? And you don't have anybody. It's short notice. You don't have anybody. Uh, this is an app of real estate agents who can show real estate for you. You do pay them. So you basically go into the app and you say, hey, I need somebody to show a property at this address this afternoon at three o'clock. I'm willing to pay $100. You put it in there that notifies the Showami agents and they send somebody out to go show the property for you. They are licensed real estate agents. They sign all kinds of paperwork through Showami that says the customer is not theirs, that the customer belongs to somebody else. So it's a really awesome tool to help you with the showing when needed. Uh, HomeBot is a really cool tool. I showed it to you on our newsletter a little while ago, but this is an app. I think it's $25 per month and it does... Um, It'll email basically a CMA to your uh, client on a monthly basis and show them what's happening in the market. Is the market going up, going down? Is there equity going up or is it going down? Home value leads is on the same idea. Home value leads, it's like a lead capture system that it'll just automatically create a, a value for any property address. And then every month it just automatically texts in emails the, um, the person what their newest value is. So you're constantly in front of potential buyers and sellers without you having to do any heavy lifting. So those are three cool tools that we highly recommend. And we're almost to the end. We have a section, Lair Signs, Apparel, and Business Cards. If you're a Lair agent, these are some of the sites that if you go to click on this link, for example, with Oakley, you'll see a whole bunch of pre-designed Lair Signs. Same with D-Signs, uh, Business Cards. We, we like Markful. Uh, if you're looking for Lair Apparel, there's a couple places here you can order that as well. And then... Last but not least, we have our uh, mailing and 
marketing companies that we recommend. Same thing here. Um, we just recommend them because we think they're good. Our agents are using them. MLS mailings is a cool program because it hooks to your MLS. So if you want to make sure that every time you have a new listing and sold, that postcards are going out to your entire neighborhood around the listing, then MLS mailings is where it's at. You set it up once, you upload your picture, your logo, your contact information, and then automatically when it sees a new listing or a new sold from your MLS with your name on it, it will send you an email and say, here's the marketing piece we're ready to send. Is it okay to send it? So it's a set it and forget it system. The personal marketing company, which is next here, this is a company that does a five-year marketing campaign and you pay once. And I think this is great for after closing uh, to stay in touch with your clientele for five years after you close the client's going to get stuff from you. And it's a mix. It's a postcard here. It's a magazine here. They change up the mailers, but it's all branded to you. Wise Pelican, great mailing company. Highly recommend. Same with Yellow Letters Complete. I love Yellow Letters Complete, especially if you want to do like handwritten note cards and stuff. They'll do them in bulk for you. Um, and then RSP data driven marketing. This is also a mailing company that lots of our Florida team members enjoy using as well. So that is a lot of information that we've already covered in the last one hour and 20 minutes. As you guys are watching, if you have questions, you can feel free to, um, type in any questions you have and we'll answer them for you. But all of this is under layer agent services. Um, and this is something we've built out over the last six months, trying to move away from our um, layer career den, which requires a username and password to get into and moving everything over to this new, more user-friendly system so that, um, you can easily find everything you need to efficiently run your business. So that was a lot of info. I'm gonna close out some of this stuff and then we will continue. We're only on the first page of our layer program and services guide. Uh, and hopefully you guys have already written out a couple items that you're gonna be working on, that you're gonna be executing on after watching today's program. So we're back at our uh, layer program and services guide. Again, you can download this guide at layerrealty.com backslash success tools. Uh, you can go there, download the most recent version. So when you get to the page, just scroll to the very bottom and you'll see a PDF version of this. And again, each page is set up. So it's a tool or resource that you have for your business. Um, and then anytime you see something underlined, that's a link to more information. So next up, you already know this part, so we won't spend a great deal of time. But one of the best tools our agents have access to is this boot camp. This boot camp on a monthly basis is a three hour deep dive overview into all the tools, training technology available to you. <clears throat> so that's why we have lots of agents that come in regularly throughout the year because they watch it and they say, okay, now I'm going to go execute on this. I'm going to go work on this for the next 30 days. And then they'll come back and watch it again and say, okay, I'm going to go execute on this uh, in my business over the next 30 days. Uh, next up is our Layer Happy Agent team. So the way agents get support at Layer Realty is through our Happy Agent system. We tell our agents, if you need anything from our team, just email happyagent at layerrealty.com. In the old days, when agents joined our brokerage, we would send them this document that had a list of all the employees with all their contact information, and then agents would just go direct to whatever employee they wanted. We ended up realizing over time that that was not the most efficient way to run a business. It was inefficient because we realized sometimes the agent went to the wrong staff member and the staff member didn't know how to answer the question. And so 
the agent ended up in limbo while they tried to figure out who to go to with the question. Secondly, uh, we noticed that sometimes the agent was going direct to a staff member who was out sick or on vacation, which caused a delay in the agent getting the answer that they were looking for. So we said, how do we make sure that our agent always gets the assistance they need? And we created our happy agent system. If you email happyagent at layerrealty.com any day of the week and ask for whatever you need help with, that request will get answered quickly and by somebody knowledgeable on the subject. This means you don't have to know exactly who to go to for the item that you need assistance with. That's our job to figure that out. Now, I tell our agents, even if you want me or even if you want Len or Sergio, there's certain people as you uh, get integrated into our company that you want to talk to for a specific item. I still say email happyagent at layerrealty.com. If there's somebody that you want to speak to specifically, you could say, hey, um, you still email happyagent at layerrealty and you say, I'm I need to talk to Stacy or I need to talk to Len and this is what I need help with. The reason for that is because our staff spends all day on the happy agent system. We do not spend all day looking at our email because email is inefficient. Email is like just all kinds, thousands and thousands of bad emails like spam comes through. So we go check that occasionally throughout the day to delete out the thousands of emails, but occasionally stuff gets missed. Nothing gets missed if it comes through happy agents because the entire team is watching for it. And they say, oh, somebody's looking for Stacy. They assign it to me. And now it stays right at the top until I get back to that agent. So it's our way of being super highly efficient, making sure our agents get the help they need when they need it so that agents never feel lost. What can you ask for for help? Literally anything. We get the all kinds of interesting questions. Sometimes it's a deal issue somebody needs help with or structuring an offer or finding a, an addendum that they need for something. Uh, sometimes it's marketing questions or marketing help or somebody wants a small change done to their website. It really can be anything. Uh, next up is the layer career day. I'm only going to spend a few minutes on this because we're actually working at trying to move away from our, the layer career den so that eventually everything you need will be right at our layer agent services portal. Um, and this just came from feedback from working with our own agents. So the layer career den has been a back end system that our agents have used. It's like a, a intranet basically. And we always consider it a library because it's like a, it's 10 years worth of documents like marketing pieces, uh, presentations, business planning tools. So the feedback that we've had from our agents is it does get overwhelming. There's lots of information on there and it's easy to get lost. So we took that information and we said, let's move everything over to um, Lair Agent Services. So it's in a nice, easy to locate place where agents don't have to remember a username and password where they can easily go get, put their hands right on the item that they need. So there's still a few things that we have not yet transitioned over. So I am going to just log in for a second so you guys can take a look at this. So the way that our agents get to this is go to layeragentservices.com. Let me just pull let me pull up the system. This is powered by Jostle. So it's basically a Google internet service. And I said the wrong, I said the wrong um, site. It's layercareerdone.com. And you do need a username and password to get into this section. Uh, all of the layer agents do have access to this.
Okay, so we're back over at layer uh, career done. Most of the stuff that you would access on here is already over at layer agent services, but there's a couple of things that we're gonna um, point out that have not been moved over just yet. And that is the three things that agents go here for on a monthly basis. Uh, number one is our raw report. So I said earlier that we will talk about uh, newsletters quite a bit today. I already showed you the internal Lair Den newsletter. That newsletter is just an internal newsletter about what's happening at Lair, what's going on with our agent family members, um, what kind of tools um, our agents using, things like that. Well, agents often like to have a nice newsletter as well, something that they can give to clients. Uh, and that is our um, Roar Report. So the Roar Report is for agents to give out to clients. And it is a customizable newsletter. It comes out once a month. And let's just open this so you could take a look at it. Our team writes all the content. And this is fully customizable because once again, it is in Canva. So you can go in and customize as much or as little as you would like on this. Um, but we fill it out with information articles. So for example, it's March. So of course, we're going to have a little St. Patrick's Day information in there. Um, all kinds of interesting little articles. But what's cool about this, so this, this particular version of it prints on 11 by 17 paper, which you can fold and fold again and mail it. Um, we have the same newsletter on just eight and a half by 11. If you just want to print it on four pages, eight and a half by 11, you can do that. Where you see the big red arrows and the red font, those are the areas that are meant to be changed by you. That means that you have to go in and customize it. And then you could just delete the red arrow. So the red arrows are not meant to stay there. So you go in and customize any of the red spots. This takes about five minutes to customize. And once you do that, it's ready to be printed and sent. So agents use these at like open houses. They put them in your buyer and seller packages. Couple other things. Uh, I spoke earlier about the Algorwin system talks about how to turn your vendors that you use into referral sources. One of the ways to do that is that you're going to write about your vendors and you can either put the articles that you write onto your blog, right on your website, or you can put them into your newsletter. So for example, let's just say you interviewed the owner of a local coffee shop. You can delete out the this whole article at um the front of the newsletter and instead just upload a picture of the person or the coffee shop and then the article you've written same with uh, many of our agents have their raw report sponsored by a mortgage company or a title company so they'll go in and add like a little advertisement or an article from the person that's sponsoring it who's helping pay the postage for it to get out things like that. So this is meant to be a nice printable newsletter. Now, the third type of newsletter. So I've talked about two newsletters. One is the layered internal newsletter. Number two, this is a print newsletter, the Roar Report, that is meant to be customized for you to send out to your customers as a printed newsletter. The third type of newsletter is an email newsletter. And I'm going to go over that because that's in a different place. If you want to send an e-newsletter once a month to your clients, that's a different uh, animal. So we're going to go over that in a few minutes. But uh, we're going to be moving the Roar Report over to Layer Agent Services just to make it easier for you guys to access. Um, so next month, you'll see it right at the Layer Agent Services. When you scroll down, there'll be a little section uh, where you can get the most recent 
uh, Roar report. And again, it's just so you don't have to go in and need a, your password and stuff to get into the system. Secondly, uh, the second thing that agents come here for regularly is, whoops, I'm going to just close this, uh, the top agent numbers. So each month we publish our top agent uh, results. So what's great about this, and we're still going to do this, but we're going to move this over to Lair Agent Services as well. But um, every month we put out a post and it comes out around the 10th of the month. So somewhere around the 10th of March, the February stats will be out. It takes a little time for everything to get closed out because we're waiting for uh, commissions to get paid from other brokerages, stuff like that. So by the 10th of the month, we have a good idea of all the February closings. And then we publish it. So we let our agents know how many transactions we closed. And then we give an overall top 25 agents by volume, top 25 uh, agents and teams by units closed. And then we break it down by market areas. And then our marketing team creates these nice little social media posts. So if you're in one of our top lists, we want to make it as simple as possible for you to brag about it. So we create all these little images. So that's the second reason why uh, agents come here monthly. And the third reason why agents were coming here monthly was our social media posts. So taking a look at all of the social media posts for March, but we've changed that up over the last six months or so. So now our agents receive all of their social media stuff on a weekly basis, that there's no longer any reason uh, for agents to have to come here for that. Uh, with that, I'm going to have Sergio present for a few minutes and just talk about some of the uh, marketing initiatives, including social media that are available to you at Lair. So welcome, Sergio. Hi. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. So, and then I'm going to share my screen. Can you see my screen? No. Uh, there yes. we go. Okay, cool. All right. So like Stacey was saying, we have changed a little bit how we do, how we uh, issue our social media posts. Um, you know, you can still go to the career den and find them, um, find the full complete month in the career den if you want to schedule them out ahead of time. Um, but we're also sending out emails weekly. So every Monday morning, you'll receive an email that looks just like this uh, for the start of the week. And you'll also get a text message from us. Um, now, you have been opted in, so you should be getting it. If you're not getting it, you can email us at happyagents at layerrealty.com. Uh, if you are getting it, but you are just happy with getting the email and you want to not have that um, text, you can always reply stop and we'll take you off the list. Um, so like I said, you get an email just like this every every um, Monday morning and it shows uh, and it gives you all of your social media pieces for the week. So this covers the full week. Uh, we cover things um, like buyers, home home buyer tips, sellers. Uh, we have some success tips, tips and everything because it's the beginning of, of the month too for March. We also have some uh, covers, some Facebook covers that you can use for the beginning of the month. Now, using this is very easy. Um, all you have to do is just click on the image and click on download and you will download the image. We're also including suggested captions. So, you know, one thing we were doing before was just giving the images, but we weren't giving you a caption. Now this caption is just a suggestion, so you can add or remove as you please. So, you know, if you want less hashtags, if you don't want to include your, your uh, information here, just because you already have it on your uh, social media profile, you can do that. But it's very easy to use. You just highlight and copy. So let me show you how you can actually post this. I have a little um, test Facebook page that I have here. And again, I'm just using Facebook, but you can use any social media. So I'll click on add a photo video. I'm going to paste my suggested copy 
I'm going to get rid of this contact info just because it's already there. And I'll keep the hashtags. Now I can click add photos, videos. And then I can click and drag on my computer. One second, it's just coming up somewhere else. Just like that. And now I can hit post or in Facebook, there's a little button right next to post that is to schedule. So I can actually schedule this post to occur at a later time. So if I want this to go up uh, Sunday morning, I can just set the time and date. So we'll have it go out around nine in the morning and hit schedule. Now, when you schedule something ahead of time, it won't show up on your feed um, right away. And sometimes it does take some yeah, there we go, loaded. It won't show up on your feed right away, but if you look on the left-hand side, you should see a uh, scheduled post to go out um, right here. Now, you can come in and edit this later on, or you can just hit post now, and it will show up on your page just like that. Again, you can do this with any of these. So all you have to do is highlight, copy, and paste. We're also included animated uh, animated pieces. So this is just a static image. But if you click on this link right below it, uh, we do have an animated piece here that you can download as an MP4. And then you can share this on any social media. Another thing that we're also including are Canva links for all of all of the pieces. We have Canva templates for all pieces. Um, so you can click on edit in Canva. As long as you're signed into Canva, you can just click on use templates and then you can edit this as you please. So if you want to have a different, for example, this is a video. Uh, if you want a different video for this particular piece, you can just go to videos. I will do home exterior oops and uh the thing with canva pro um stacy had mentioned it we do recommend getting canva pro because you have access to tons of stock photography and image they're all really high quality so very easily i just change the video that happens behind this part and then i can click on share download i'll download this as an mp4 video video takes a little longer to download so we can keep moving um like i said you can find this um in in your email inbox if you're not getting this you can always email us at happyagents at layerrealty.com and let us know you also get a text now when you get a text you do get a different website um just so it makes it easier to use on your phone let me show you what that looks like. Um, there, career then, here we go. It's actually not in the career then, it's on their agent services. But again, you'll get this, a, a direct link as a text. So you'll see something like this, where if we go to our March posts here, um, you'll see the same grid of all of the posts, but uh, in this section, you can actually just click on download the image. You can download the video as is. Um, you have a button for Canva templates, and you also have a button to copy the text. Now, this is really handy when you're using this on your phone because you can download the image. If you click on copy text, when you go back to do the post, uh, let me get rid of this part here. There we go. When you go back to doing the post, you can, I, I just clicked on that button. Now I can hit paste and here's our suggested post, um, our suggested copy. Now, again, this is very helpful on your phone because it's kind of hard to highlight and copy and paste on your phone. And that is our social media at Layer. Um, I wanted to go over another part is our our marketing bundles um so when your home when your listing goes live on the mls so as soon as it goes live you will receive an email just like this it this is your marketing bundle so we we create this uh, we have we make sure we get this out to you within 24 hours of your listing going live on the mls 
um, if it is, if you do want it ahead of time, um, that link that Stacy showed you, we also include that link in this email to, um, you can give this, give us your information ahead of time. If you have a listing coming soon, um, make sure that you give us as much information as you can. Um, you know, we need to know the square footage. We need to know any of the remarks and as well as all of the pictures you can upload directly. But as soon as your listing goes live, we create this bundle. Now this bundle, you can click on this first button to just download it. Uh, this bundle includes a listing brochure. Uh, we try to choose the best images for your listing. It also includes some social media pieces that can that you can use that follow the whole transaction. So new listing, open house, just sold. You have all of that ready. Uh, we're also including an open house signing sheet and uh, for our New England agents, some information about coast to coast. Um, we're also including Canva templates. And you'll see that we mentioned Canva a lot uh, just because it makes it easy for us to share the original designs with you. And it makes it easy for you to just go in and make quick changes. Um, for example, we have our social media posts here. I'm going to click and I'm going to make a copy because that is a live listing here. Um, but we are also including at the bottom, we, we don't, we don't uh, include these in the original package just because we don't have the information, right? We are including a price change um, piece here that you can go in and modify and customize. So you can just put in, you know, the new price if it went down and then click on share, download, and then you can download just that particular page by clicking on select pages and choose the, choosing that page. We have some back on market pieces as well as an open house piece that includes the uh, date and time. Now you can go in and customize this. You can add more than one date and time to the same piece. And it's very easy. Um, for example, if I wanna change the picture of this um, property here, I can just click on upload files or I can just drag and drop images. So I wanted to feature the outside deck here for this particular listing, I can just click and drag. And now I can uh, add it to any of these sections, but I'll just drop it here. And just like that, I'm easily able to arrange or rearrange or organize any of these pictures um, just by uploading my own. You can change any of this. So all of your contact information, if you want to use a different picture, it's easily you can just drag and drop and add your new your new photo. Um, again, you can share this as a uh, PNG for social media, but you can also download this to print if you want to print this. You can animate this if you click this animate button up here. You can choose any of these presets and then download this as an MP4 to share as a video. So all of this you get here in the bundle. Um, we do have a couple of links for printing and mailing if you want to have some of these listing sheets printed out. As long as it's under 500 copies, you uh, can get them for free. You just fill out this form, uh, you upload your PDF, and we can arrange for you to pick them up at one of our offices. And then we have this link for the bundle request. Uh, if you do have a listing that's coming up, coming soon, you can give us all of the information all of the pictures and we can get going on on your on your marketing bundle and uh that's it any questions all right awesome thank you sergio of course all right let's go back to our program guide so that's basically everything um as i mentioned we're working at getting the last few items over from our career done and eventually everything will just be at layer agent services to make it super easy for you to uh organize your business right from one location uh next up i want to just talk about our tech bundle so 
any agents that are part of Lair, we have an optional $39 per month tech bundle. And even if you're not a Lair agent, I think these three products are incredible uh, for any real estate agent. But I want to go through each of them just to show you kind of what they do. Uh, of course, if you're a Lair agent, you always have the option of opting out of our bundle. But there's a few things in here that are really important, especially when it comes to set it and forget it systems. So for $39 a month, you get three products. One is Isact, which is a CRM marketing system. This is where we have the uh, email newsletter. So this is a system where you can put in um, buyers, sellers, prospects. Basically, you need names and email addresses. You build your database and then you set up, set it and forget it email so that once a month, a newsletter goes out on your behalf. You don't have to create the newsletter. The system creates the newsletter for you. It does some other cool things as well. Number one, if you're a layer agent, we've also created some campaigns in there. So for example, we have a 12 week new buyer campaign with the 12 secrets to buying a home. Um, so between the, the home buyer campaign, the newsletter as well, if you put a client's, uh, closing date and, or their birthday, they will also receive emails from you. So if you put in a closing date for your client, uh, every year on their anniversary, it'll send them a happy home anniversary card from you. If you put in their birth date every year on their birthday, it will send them a birthday card from you. So uh, I'm going to give you guys a little, just a brief little tour on the Isaac and why we love it so much. But as you're looking at the program and services guide, one thing I do want to point out is these are all tutorials. These are short little training programs on how to make it work for you. We don't want agents signing up for the $39 a month bundle and not uh, utilizing the entire bundle. So it's really important that if you are going to use it, just make sure that um, you read, you watch the little tutorial so you have it set up properly. Next uh, is Boston Logic. So as part of the $39 a month bundle, you also get Boston Logic. This is a website platform. So if you go to LairRealty.com, um, you will see our, uh, our website is a Boston Logic website. And they have an agent version of the website that's really awesome. And we help you get it set up. So when we deliver your website to you, we have a little form that you fill out telling us like what market areas you work in, things like that. And we set it all up for you and deliver it to you as a ready to go website. The third part of the $39 a month bundle is Real Scout. And we'll have Len do a little demo on that in a few minutes. But this is a cool app for staying in touch with both buyers and sellers. So when it comes to buyers, it sets up a program. Instead of having to do like the old school, put the client in an MLS search where once a day they get this boring email of all the properties that just hit the market, Real Scout texts them real time as properties hit the market and it's got pictures of the house. It's an awesome program. Uh, and it's also great for sellers too because you can put your sellers in a set it and forget it. Uh, email program where every month it will send your clients or past clients a report of what's happening in their marketplace. So it makes it much harder for them to forget you. On all three of these pages, you'll see there's a little flag at the top of the page that says tech bundle, just to remind you that these are part of the $39 a month tech bundle. And uh, on each of the pages, there's all these little tutorials on how to best use the product. So let me stop sharing for one minute because I want to just do a little bit deeper of a dive into 
the eyes act because this is so important super super important we said at the beginning of today's program that you should be writing down the five things that you're going to go execute on in your business so what are the five things one of them i think that you can't run a real estate business without having a um without having a database because that means that if you don't have a database you're basically have to be getting your business from sources that you're paying for so like you're either paying a subscription fee or you are paying uh huge referral fees so the only way to move off of having to pay for leads is that you create your own database so that people are referring directly to you so you have to have a database to be successful in real estate in my opinion if you do not have a database this is one of the top few things that you need to go execute on um your five things that you go work on uh so that you can start to develop that referral type business all right let me reshare my screen here and i'm going to do just a really quick kind of rundown on the isaac part of the 39 dollar per month bundle um hold on one second Okay, so let's just talk for a few minutes about the importance of setting up a database. Um, the importance of the database is that you can keep in touch with your clients. So you need to have systems in place as your business grows so that you can scale your business. One of the things you must scale is your ability to stay in touch with people so that even when you're not actively staying in touch with people your systems are still staying in touch with people for you um and that's why we love the isaac system isaac is a crm a client relationship management system it stores your customer info like names birthdays emails uh it stores prospects info it keeps notes for you on people um, and it creates email campaigns. This is the big reason why we love this program. It's very simple to use. Are there other CRM companies out there? A hundred percent. There's like 300 at least of real estate CRMs out there. There's tons of them. Isaac does not have a lot of bells and whistles. It's just a super easy program. It's easy to execute on. And as long as you have a CRM system, you're in good shape. Um, the reason why the database is so important is because when you have a database, your leads are always going to be less expensive than having to go buy leads. So that's why real estate agents develop databases, because the more you cultivate the database, eventually you don't have to pay referral companies to send you business. Um, not only that, when you have a database, your business becomes consistent because you create a pipeline. So here you're going to have a database and a marketing system all in one that it's going to be cultivating business for you. Also, you need to have a database in your business if you ever want to retire and sell your business. The only asset you have in your business is the database. So it's really important that you cultivate that database so that they're constantly hearing from you, staying in touch with you so that down the road, if you want to sell that database to somebody else who could continue to get business from it, it's very easy to do. Um, and then you just become harder to get uh, to forget when you have a database. And that's really important on our business because there's way too many real estate agents um, there's something like 3 million and there's 3 million of which like 1.5 million are realtors in the country. Uh, the highest per capita number of real estate agents is in Florida. Um, they have somewhere around 200,000 real estate agents. 
So this means that you have to be really good at making sure people don't forget about you because there's too many other real estate agents that you can become forgettable if you're not staying in touch with your uh, people, your client database. So who do you put into a database? I always say start with like, if you were planning your wedding right now, who would you invite? Let's start there. Uh, friends, family, coworkers, neighbors, literally everybody that you could think of should be going into your database. You probably have some leads coming in. So Op City, Zillow, Ojo, Estately. If you have leads coming in, every single lead you get should be going into your database. You're probably doing open houses. Every single uh, open house attendee should go into your database. All of your vendor partners, attorney, mortgage, bankers, et cetera, not only your real estate vendors, but the vendors you work with on a daily basis. So the people doing your landscaping, your painting, roofers, hairdressers, cleaners, Really, anybody you meet, you go to a networking event, it should go into your database. Um, the price of our programs. So for $39, you get all three products, Isaacs, Boston Logic, and Real Scout. Um, so that's a huge savings. The price of all three products, if you're a reg if you want to go buy them, let's say you're not a layer agent, you like what you see here today. You can go get each of these products on your own for $39 a month. Um, so each one is $39 a month. Because of the size of our organization, we're able to combine all the pricing into one low price of $39. So you save about $936 per year if you're a Lair agent. Even if I was a non-Lair agent, the $39 per month for each of these is well worth it. Um, some of the highlights of the system, just to go over first, I think they have great support. They help you get your system up and running. It does have an app. The upside to the app is it makes it very easy to add people. So as you meet a new person, just add them right to your database. Uh, the biggest piece I love about Isaac is their monthly newsletter campaign. It sends a nice newsletter to anybody that you put into your database once a month. So you are harder to forget. You just put the info in, it's going to send out the newsletter. Um, and then, as I mentioned, Lair has created a first-time buyer campaign, a birthday campaign, uh, and a one-year or a annual home anniversary campaign where it sends the client a birthday email, a home anniversary email. The other thing that's really cool about this it allows you to do mass emails to everybody in your database. And we saw Sergio do a presentation a few minutes ago about the layer marketing concierge, that every time you get a new listing, we create all of your marketing pieces for you. You don't have to go create your marketing pieces. So every time you get a new listing, our marketing team emails you a, a Google folder with all of your marketing pieces, it takes less than one minute to mass email everybody in your database. So you just take your one of the images from your Google folder about your new listing, you upload it into your mass email campaign, and you send out an announcement to everybody in your database check out my new listing at 10 Main Street. Let me know if you have anybody that might be interested. So it just gives you a nice, simple way to keep growing your business. Um, couple things I do like to point out. Isaac, if you go on their website, they have tons of video tutorials. On the Layer Program and Services Guide, which is the page I have right here, I picked out all of the best tutorials. So all the main things that you need to be able to do, like send a mass email or do set up your email newsletter, we gave links on the Lair Program Guide to those little tutorials on how to do that. Um, also, if you go to this link, services.isaccontact.com, there's a link to this on their website. They have a 121 page help guide on the product. So when 
we started using the product. I did a deep dive into the product myself because I wanted us to be able to teach it well to our agents. I downloaded that 121 page guide and that's where I took notes. Um, but if you go to youtube.com backslash layer training, you'll see we created two one hour training programs. One is a beginner program to get you up and running on Isaac, and one is a more advanced program on uh, some of the stuff you can do with it. Um, also, I will say Isaac helps you get your entire database. If you already have an existing database, they're really good about helping you get it all up and running. And then, as I mentioned, it has a nice app so that it's very easy for you to add stuff. Uh, it also has lots of cool integrations. So you can integrate your Isaac with Google, Zillow, Real Scout. So as leads come in, they just go direct into your Isaac and end up right on a campaign so that anybody that comes in through these different sites ends up automatically in your system, automatically getting a newsletter every month, which is super cool. A um, few things I'll show. I'm not going to go through all this because we're already running out of time. This is a sample of the birthday email that clients get on their birthday. So if you put your birth, the birth date of the person in uh, Isaac, it's going to send a birthday card from you. Same with their home anniversary. It's going to send um, a one-year home anniversary. And this right here is what I like the most. And this is the newsletter aspect of the campaign. So once a month, it will send out a newsletter on your behalf. And it looks just like this. So it's got a little um, letter from you. It's all branded. So you have to go in once and set up what you want your letterhead to look like on all of your email. And we have, if you watch our training program at youtube.com backslash layer training, we show you how to set that up. But you set this up once and then uh, it automatically creates your newsletter for you every month. What you can't see, only because I couldn't fit it all in one screen, is at the bottom, it then just gives some links to some interesting articles about like home repairs or um, gardening, things like that. So it's not just the letter, but there's a little letter from you then your signature, and then some cool articles at the bottom. And you can change all of it. But for the most part, I tell agents, you don't want to sit and play with it. Like, set it and forget it. Let it go. Let it all just do its thing for you. Uh, so that's the big piece is this monthly email newsletter that goes out on your behalf. Those are kind of the big pieces of um, the Isaac system. So I'm going to get back out for a second. Next, I just want to take you over before we have Len come on and do a little presentation for us. I do want to just take you over. Back to our program guide just for a minute. So inside the program guide, in addition to um, Isaac, you also get a Boston Logic website. I did mention, first of all, on the Boston Logic website, there's all kinds of little training tutorials. If you want to go in and do some further customization, we do deliver it to you in a way that I think looks really good. So you don't have to do a great deal of customization prior to you, um, Obtaining the website, we have a form you fill out with specific questions so we can develop it so it looks really nice before it gets to you. But as you can see, some of these agents have gone in and done some customization work to their sites. And I like to just show, for example, Home Sparity usually has a really nice site. Um, the point of showing this is just so you guys know, like, you can do anything you want with your website. Every website can look different. Your site doesn't have to look like anybody else's. So this is uh, one of our big teams in Tuxbury. They have a beautiful website. They've gone and created all kinds of like landing pages and stuff like that. Um, I will show you one other one. Page and Company is also pretty good.
And then the third piece of the $39 a month bundle is Real Scout. So um, I'm going to have Len do a demo on two products. Number one, he's going to show us Real Scout, <laughs> which is part of the $39 per month bundle. But he's also going to do a quick demo for us on Cloud CMA, which is a CMA program. I do like to point out the Cloud CMA program is not part of the bundle. You get it no matter what. So you don't have to sign up for the bundle, but we're going to have um, Len demo both of those for us. So welcome, Len. Hi, everyone. Let me make sure. Yeah, my microphone's on. Awesome. All right. So let me just uh, get the right pages open and I'm going to share uh, my screen. The first program is Real Scout. It's one of my favorite. Um, so when you sign somebody up for Real Scout, this is the type of email that they're going to get. They're going to get one that will say, hang on, let me just switch over here to here. And it'll be something like this. They'll say, uh, the cool thing about Real Scout is the emails that go out have a natural language to them. So it's not like the MLS will send an email out and says, here's a listing, here's a listing, here's a listing. This one actually sounds like it's coming from you personally. Uh, it says, hi, I wanted to share these listings. Uh, and it says, you know, uh, 11255 Persimmon Boulevard is a ranch style home that has a patio, storm resistant windows and an open porch. And uh, 7265 Mistral Court has granite countertops, a community pool and an attached parking. So the emails that go out sound like they're actually coming from you. And the email format is really awesome. It's like, you know, a big, huge picture, right? And then some basic information and an easy place for them to, for your uh, um, uh, buyers to click, you know? So you just click on say view details. And this is what the buyer's view is going to be. And it's going to be all the information um, and the buyers themselves. Once you have set up a, a search for them, they can actually go in and create new searches if they wanted to, right? Um, or they can uh, modify their current search or they can do a completely new search. But here is what they get to see. They get to see all the great photos and everything, right? Um, but the other cool thing is, is um, you know, they get, to, if there's a virtual tour, it's, there's a link to it, they get all the remarks. But the cool thing is they can say, whether they're interested or not interested in a property. And the great thing about that is, is that as soon as they click on interested, right? They're gonna get, you, the agent, is gonna get a text message saying um, uh, that this person is interested in this property. Um, and it happens that quick. So the great thing about Real Scout is it's very interactive. You know exactly what your buyer is looking at when they are looking at it. So, and I'm gonna go here to the agent dashboard here. And this is what you, the agent, you're gonna see is when it opens up into your dashboard, you're gonna see all the activity of your buyers. You're gonna see whether or not they've opened the emails, whether they've clicked on anything um, and, and whether they've expressed interest in anything. So here's the one I just, just recently just clicked on just now, right? It's already here, already letting me, the agent, know that this buyer is interested in this property. So at this point, you would know that you need to pick up the phone and call them and, and schedule something with them. But you can also see uh, all the uh, other emails that have been opened by other, um, uh, uh, other buyers and everything else. So, um, You can see all the activity your buyers have been doing, and that's one of the great things. So, and the other cool thing about this is the search is super easy to set up for somebody. Um, what you want to do is, um, if you are like me, I, I belong to several different uh, multiple listing services, and so I can pick and choose: do I want to send somebody stuff from, say, like New Hampshire, right, or do I want to send them uh, listings from? Uh, MLS pin, I'm just gonna click here, MLS pin, and I can say start searching, it's gonna create a search. And 
from here and then I can choose, you know, I can choose the status. If I was like working with a seller and I wanted them to see what's going under contract or what's sold, I could do that too. Um, but the really neat thing about this is this has um, two, two ways of setting up your location searches. Uh, the first one, of course, is your traditional way of, you know, picking the state, the city, maybe the zip code, right, and going searching that way. But what if you have a buyer who is specifically looking for, uh, uh, looking for a specific school district, right? Um, so like in Westford, there, uh, there's two middle schools. One of them is the Blanchard. And what you can do is you can start typing in Blanchard, right? And it's gonna come up with different towns and everything, but here we go. And here is schools. The choices are Blanchard Middle School, Westford Mass. I click on that, right? it's automatically going to have over here, a map is going to show all the properties that are in um, uh, available in that, in that district. And I can set up a search for, uh, for a buyer. And um, so it's very specific and it works really well. And you're not relying on, you know, sometimes in MLS, you want somebody in a certain school district. Well, you have to rely on whether or not the listing agent put in the right school district or not. This bypasses it all pulls the information from the Pitney Bowes geographic boundaries. There are other tools with this too. Um, so you can set up market alerts uh, for your seller so that they get a either a bi-weekly or a monthly report of what's happening in their town or their neighborhood. Um, but there's also a, a really cool thing, which is called test the market. Um, go click here and say you're going to do a a uh, say you're doing a CMA and you've got a price range for that seller, right? Well, every seller is always going to say, but I really want to price it way up here, right? So one of the cool things is what you do is you put in the address, their address, right? Let's do Megan Lane. There it is, boom. And it's a single family, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. And let's say the target price is $599,900, right? And now we're going to generate a report. This is a neat report that you can uh, generate for your seller. And what it's going to show is a little bit of information, but it's also going to show that, you know, if you tell somebody, you know, I want to, if your price range is like uh, $599, quite often, you know, the seller might say, well, I really wanted to do $625. You can take this and you can show them if you overprice your house right now, you're going to lose. This is huge they're gonna lose a third of their buyers. So you're gonna show them why 599 is the right price. And you can even show them that like, you know what, go down another 25,000 and you pick up a few more buyers this way. Um, so this is an excellent, excellent report uh, and a tool to use to help you get that listing. Um, the report also comes with like a heat map. So it shows where all the activity is happening uh, in say like Lowell, right? Pretty good. Um, the other cool thing is you also, with this program, you get a landing page and the landing page includes a separate URL that you can like put into your, um, you can put the URL into like your email um, as part of your signature, um, or you can actually add it to your website too. So uh, it's completely um, uh, customizable. I mean, you know, the, the, the default shows the Golden Gate Bridge. That doesn't work for us, but you can go and you can customize it. And this is what I've done with mine is as you can see, it's got the house and it's got the lion. Um, and let's find your next home. You can put whatever, whatever wording you want in there. Um, and you can also show uh, your recent uh, transactions. And I don't know why mine aren't showing up today. Um, oh, I know. Uh, we're doing a Zoom meeting and my computer slows down with Zooms. There we go. And you can show all your past sales and everything else. Um, but all somebody has to do is just start doing a search and you're notified that it's happening. So, so that is Real Scout. Real Scout is in, an incredible program. Um, it's very interactive. Um, and uh, as buyers are looking, you see exactly what they're looking at. So you know when to pick up the phone, call them, schedule a showing, uh, make sure that you are... Uh, uh, getting out there and, and uh, showing them what they want to see. So um, you ready for me to switch into Cloud CMA? Yes. All right. 
So there's a couple of things with Cloud CMA is if uh, you have uh, MLS pin or you have beaches, uh, you can access Cloud CMA. Um, uh, if you have a different MLS, uh, you will need to get the uh, bundle to be able to access uh, Cloud CMA. But the cool thing about it is, is that uh, we have uh, paid to update the pages and everything. And let me just find them here. Um, if you are in MLS pin, for an example, you can pick and choose uh, which properties you want to add to a CMA. And then once you've chosen them, you would say, uh, you would uh, click and go to Cloud CMA. It's gonna open up the program and automatically import those MLS ID numbers for you. Um, there are other ways to uh, create uh, the CMAs. So the first thing to do though is we're gonna launch launch here and we're gonna switch over. And I've already got several different uh, uh, CMAs already created. And so we'll take a look at what's already been done. And of course, my computer is slowing down again because of Zoom. I don't know why Zoom takes so much, but <clears throat> there we go. All right, so a couple of quick things is, if this is your first time in to Cloud CMA, uh, if you go over here to the right-hand corner, once you log in, you'll see that you have either, it'll be a green circle with your initials, right? Uh, for the very first time, I've already uploaded my photo, so it's there, but you wanna go to account settings. There are a couple of things that are very important in the account settings that you need to do before you do your first CMA. <clears throat> here it comes. Uh, one of the things is your profile page. Um, it's very important that you have your company name in here, and it's very important that it reads exactly like this, Lair Realty Partners. Um, I know we all abbreviate it as Lair Realty or Lair, uh, but for this program, it needs to see Lair Realty Partners. Once you have that in there, then you're able to access all the branding uh, that Lair has done with Cloud CMA. So. Um, also, if you belong to more than one MLS, you can switch them around. So I can switch here and I can go to say MLS pin and put in my login, MLS login there, and it's been updated. So now we're gonna go back to the CMAs and instead of doing a brand new one, I'm just going to open up one that's already been done. Um, so we're just gonna click here and it's gonna open this up. And basically the things that you'll need to do is you'll need to put in uh, the name of the client. Um, the other important thing here is to put in uh, the address of the property. So let's just back this out real quick. And I'm just going to retype the address in. And it's gonna give me choices here of, let's see, Marina. Drive. Why is Chumps for not showing up here? There it is. Marina Road, that's why. Anyway, so the program will automatically pull up tax records from the property you're, you're looking at. If, and when you pick and choose it this way. And so it knows it's a three bedroom, one bath, 1,700 square feet, half an acre, <clears throat> built in 1967. This is important because part of the reason, way it works is it will pull uh, you have choices. You can either import the uh, MLS ID numbers or actually import the listings directly from MLS, right? Very super, super easy. If you don't know what properties you're going to use yet, you can also do it so that it'll pull automatically uh, from uh, 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 surrounding properties that have also sold or are on the market. Um, if you're doing a CMA, it's going to be more useful if you actually figure out what properties you want to use ahead of time. Uh, it'll be, uh, it'll give you more exact information and help you guide the seller to the right price range. But this is really super easy. Um, what you would do is just click uh, update listings. <clears throat> and it's going to show you like a map of where the listings are. Uh, it's going to show you uh, a list of the comps that it's chosen. In this case, these are a list of comps that I imported, right? Um, it happens that they all have closed. No nope, pending, pending and closed, nothing's active. But the other cool thing is if you like using NetSheets, uh, you can put a price range in here. 
and it will create a net sheet and allow you to add other things into it for a net sheet. So, um, so the average here is 616. So let's just do 619900, boom. And then we are going to go and customize this report. Now, if you have the branding set up properly with layer, what you're gonna see is at the top, you're gonna see all the layer pages right here. Um, and these are all great pages. Uh, excellent colors and everything else. Now, if you, um, uh, you can pick and choose which pages you wanna use. Uh, over here on the left-hand side will be uh, 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 areas where you can add pages. Like, you know, do you wanna add selling your home, negotiating with buyers or online home to CMA versus, you can add all these pages. You can also move the pages around or you can say, delete a page and bring it out. And then when you're all done, what you would just need to do is just publish the report. Now, one thing is if you come in here and you don't see the layer pages here, what you'll need to do is you need to change the theme. So when you click on this theme, when you click on this theme, um, you'll have different choices. Now, if you're not seeing the layer pages, maybe it's then set at, uh, modern, whatever, modern blue and gold or whatever. Um, and you want to change this. If you have the company name in correctly, what you would do is you would scroll up and you would see only one choice for branding. Now, if you scroll up and you see all these other different companies for branding, that means then that you didn't quite enter uh, Lair Realty Partners the exact way that you need to. But if it's there, you click on it, and you choose the theme and it will apply the theme and it will import um, all the pages that we have done, um, that the marketing department has done. So, um, and they've done some really beautiful pages. I mean, look at this one here. This is a 20 point marketing plan. It's in here and you can even uh, customize it yourself too. So in the end, when you do a CMA, we're gonna go back to the front page. It's gonna create uh, two, different versions. It'll be the traditional version, which is going to be a PDF that you can uh, uh, download and print uh, uh, if uh, uh, on one of the color printers, no problem. Uh, you can uh, send it to an admin. She can bind it for you if you want, uh, whatever you want to do. But this is the traditional CMA. Uh, it's got all these pages. And then once you scroll down, you'll get to uh, where all the information is about the properties. Um, and everything, everything is going to have your information uh, at the bottom, the layer logo at the bottom, and everything is going to be in the layer colors. Um, so it looks really, really beautiful. Um, so when you walk in the door uh, to do a CMA, you're going to have a really good, good quality product here. So um, the other way, though, the cool thing is, is <clears throat> you can also do a live uh, presentation. Um, so if you are meeting with the seller and you are uh, meeting them in person, you can have uh, everything on your tablet and it'll show you all the different pages, all the layer pages right here and everything else. Um, as you scroll down, uh, let's just do this one here. Um, the way to go through it is this will take you to the next page, right? Um, and if you want to uh, emphasize something, you can click here, pull out a marker, uh, and do whatever you want uh, to emphasize whatever. You go to the next page, go to the comps. The cool thing about this is on the comps, right? On the comps, it's going to be uh, also interactive because you can sit here and just scroll through. You can scroll down on stuff. You can click on the listing itself and show them additional photos, right? Which is great. Um, so additional photos, additional information. You can even make adjustments on the fly, you know? So like say, this was a uh, four bedroom, three bath house, and maybe the one that you're at, you know, it's only a uh, bath and a half. So you wanna make kind of like a marketing adjustment on that, you can uh, do it on the fly. So, um, and then you can say, well, let's take a look at the next property, and then let's take a look at the next property and so on, right? Um, and then we can also just go back up here to the main listing page and go to the average price 
all this great information is here for you to use to get the listing. So to show the seller what's happening in the market, why they should, uh, what the price range should be and everything else. So, um, so that is Cloud CMA, well worth it. Um, if you have uh, MLS pin or beaches, you can access it directly. Um, if you don't have either one of those MLSs, uh, you do need to get the uh, agent package for it. So um, that's everything I have. All right, awesome. Thank you, Len. All right, let's see. Back to our layer program and services guide. We only have about 20 more minutes left. So let me pull back up our... Okay, so we already had Sergio go through and give you guys an update of the layer marketing concierge team. Every time you get a new listing, automatically you get an email from our marketing team with a link to all of your marketing pieces created for you. If you're a layer agent and for some reason you're not getting that, just email happyagent at layerrealty.com so we can uh, look into that for you. But these should be coming to you automatically. Um, as well, uh, this is kind of the overview of what comes in your package. So you get a two-page brochure, all of your social media um, pieces for your new listing, as well as an open house sign-in sheet. And then also we had Sergio go through what your weekly concierge social media marketing looks like. So each Monday, you should be receiving a text message and an email of all of your social media pieces ready to share for the week. They come to you in two formats. One is just ready to share JPEG images. Uh, we even write all the copy for you as well. We also send you the Canva templates so that you can customize further if you wish. Um, one piece I want to just spend a couple minutes talking about is our AdWorks partnership. So if you're a Lair agent, we do have a partnership with AdWorks. This means that every time you get a new listing, we automatically create pay-per-click advertising for your listing. We pay for, on your behalf, seven days of advertising on hundreds of websites, including Google, Facebook, Instagram, and hundreds of other sites like Wall Street Journal Online, Yahoo News, ESPN Sports Online, et cetera. These are targeted advertisements. So the advertisements look like this uh, picture at the top. It's got a picture of the house, your contact information. It says just listed. Um, all of this can be customized. So if you're a Lair agent, you do have access to our AdWorks portal where you can go in and further customize this. As well, you can go in and create your own ads. So after the seven days of advertising has taken place, uh, you can go in and extend or update or create your own types of ads for any type of um, real estate needs you have. I do want to just show you the AdWorks commercial because when we first signed up for the AdWorks platform, we were really looking to generate more leads for agents. What I will say is it's not the biggest lead source. You're not going to get tons of leads from it. But that being said, our agents like it because it's something to talk about at a listing presentation and customers like to see the advertisement. So when you list a property, you want to go into your AdWorks portal and put your seller's email address in there because then the advertisement follows your seller around. Uh, so let me just show you um, when you do your listing presentation, there's two pieces of marketing that your seller should see. One is the little AdWorks commercial that we've created. As well, we've created a flyer. So if you go to the bottom of this form and you click on AdWorks listing flyers, it'll take you to some flyers that we've created to include in your listing presentation as well. Um, you can click here and get the Layer AdWorks video. Sometimes our agents embed this right into their email signature line. And the third part is uh, we have some training videos on how to use the AdWorks. 
right here. So let me um, let me share. First of all, I have to unshare for a second since I'm going to share a video just so you guys get to see. Um, what the the 30 second commercial looks like. This is Wix. I have to wait for the ad. Size and market your home. After okay, I'm gonna just make this a little bigger. Hi, I'm Kelsey, your digital marketing specialist, and I'm here to talk to you about our online marketing strategy and how we plan to advertise and market your home. After listing your home with us, a custom digital advertisement will be created for your listing. This ad will be shown thousands of times to home buyers surrounding your property. Your home will be shown on Facebook and Instagram, as well as major websites like the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times on both desktops and in mobile apps. It will specifically target people looking at listings online, using online mortgage calculators, and researching moving companies. Just like Amazon might follow you around with that pair of shoes you were just looking at, we'll follow home buyers with your property, keeping your home in front of potential buyers wherever they go online. Finally, you'll receive a daily report showing how your home's ad is performing. You'll also receive a link to share on your social networks, letting your friends and family help spread the word about your listing. Feel confident that your home is in the best hands online and off and list your home with us. We will truly work for you to get your home sold. Okay, so I would show that at a listing appointment just so that your client gets to see um, how you are marketing their property on their behalf. Uh, and again, what's really important is uh, setting up your client within the AdWorks platform. So on that page, on our layer program and services guide, we have two tutorial videos, um, AdWorks part one and two, that shows you how you can go into your um, AdWorks. And so right down here, AdWorks basics part one and two, you can watch those tutorials and it'll just show you how you can go into the back end of AdWorks to add your client's email address. And the purpose of that is just to have the advertisement um, following them around. Next up, just wanna go through some of the trading opportunities at Lair. Even if you're not a Lair agent, a great deal of our training programs are available to any Lair agent. So a couple ways to, um, access our training is first of all, if you go to lairrealty.com backslash training, this shows you all the upcoming training classes at Lair. So I always encourage agents, this is just like a Google calendar and it shows you our classes. I always encourage agents to embed this on their regular calendar. So if you go underneath to the bottom, there's two buttons. One is for Google Calendar and one is for iCal, where you can just share this calendar with your own calendar. So anytime you're on your calendar, you'll see an overlay of the layer calendar. That way you never miss any of our upcoming classes. So these are all our live training classes um, offered each month. But also, whoops, we're going to close out some of the windows. Whoops. Uh, also, we have Lair University. So each month we offer live training classes. In addition to that, if you go to LairUniversity.com, you'll see hundreds of pre-recorded classes. So you can go take those whenever you have um, free time. You don't; those are pre-recorded, so uh, you don't have to be at a certain place or a certain time to watch it. Uh, we also like to share our Lair coaching program. This is for layer agents. So if you feel like you want to really dive in, you want to have accountability, we do have a fantastic coaching program. We print out for you our 250 page coaching guide. We put it into a manual and we ship it to you. We then team you up with a small group coaching session. 
Your coach is somebody that closes a minimum of $10 million a year in business, and they host two monthly coaching calls to make sure you're staying on track with our program. So as part of the program, each month, we give you a series of steps to take to organize your business. Um, lots of events at Lair. We do have, as I mentioned, we have offices all throughout Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Florida, and we're continuing to expand 40 plus offices. And the reason this is so important is we want you to go out and explore the other offices and be around your fellow real estate agents, learn from them. Uh, one of the things that really sets us apart is our agents do mastermind together and train together and learn together uh, best practices. Uh, if you are a newer agent and need assistance with filling out forms, you can go to layerrealty.com backslash transaction blueprint. These are little tutorials on all the real estate forms for Mass, New Hampshire, and Florida. Uh, as well, if you're a layer agent and you want to know how to win a layer listing, uh, this, this document goes through all of that. Uh, I'm going to skip through all this stuff. This is kind of all the stuff for easily getting paid at layer. Uh, we're proud that we're an independent company. So like the forms you need to get paid for compliance purposes are very minimal. Um, this page is important for everybody. So if you are an agent that wants more business, this form tells you all the companies that provide leads to real estate agents. On the left side of the booklet, it's referral fee-based lead platforms. On the right side of the booklet, it's subscription-based lead platforms. And we encourage you uh, to sign up for the referral fee-based lead platforms. Don't commit to a big monthly expense, but these ones are all great because these are based on referrals. So go sign up for each of these so that throughout the year, you occasionally have referrals coming in uh, from all different places. Uh, you got to see a little demo today from uh, Len showing you how our best practices for using Cloud CMA. Uh, and then you'll also know, if you look at our training calendar, we do lots of stuff around um, healthiness. So we do classes on health insurance, mindfulness, healthy eating. Uh, every Wednesday, we do live yoga classes. Uh, this is just a business supply directory right at the end of the booklet. Uh, as well, for agents that need transaction coordinating services, we do have a fantastic in-house transaction coordinating team. Can't stress enough, they do a great job at keeping our agents organized. Um, and then if you're a layer agent and you want to have a voice, I always say like all the good things we have as part of our organization, what has fueled our growth over the years is that we do really listen to our agents. And so the way that agents have a voice in what we're doing as an organization is through our committees. So our committees uh, meet monthly either in person and some of them meet just by Zoom. And they're the ones that help us shape like our technology, our safety, sustainability, our events, um, so that it's a great place to work. So our chief sustainability officer normally tries to come on to our program every month. This month, he happens to be traveling, so he couldn't make it on to our program this month. But uh, suffice it to say, we are one of the very few real estate brokerages in the whole country that has a chief sustainability officer. So I can't stress enough, like if you are going on a listing presentation and the property has, for example, solar panels or energy efficient, anything in the house, reach out to us at the Happy Agent team because we'll show you how best practices for uh, winning that listing. Sustainable real estate, if you have two houses and one has solar panels, uh, I should say owned so solar panels, not rented or leased so solar panels, but that plus other sustainable features, that home should garner a 5% higher value than the house that does not have those items. We can help you with all that. 
email happy agent at layerrealty.com. Also, you can go to layerrealty.com backslash green. Each April, we put out a layer sustainability report just to report back what's happening within our organization when it comes to sustainability. Um, and this, these are great tools to use on listing and buyer presentations. Uh, also, we're super proud of our artwork at all of our uh, layer offices. We take great pride in just making sure our spaces look really nice. Uh, we support an organization called Art Lifting. Uh, we feel the art is important because it adds energy and vibration to each of the spaces we do business in. So we do think it's important to have nice space for our agents to work. Um, but through Art Lifting, not only do we get to have great space, but we also get to support great artists. And then last, you'll see all of our office locations throughout uh, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Florida. Uh, for Layer Agents, we make it super easy for you to access our locations. You just go down to layerrealty.com backslash office access. If, for example, you want to get into one of our offices on a Saturday or something like that, uh, most of our offices have key code entry, so it's very easy to use any of our office locations. And with that, I want to thank everybody for spending three hours with us today. Uh, if you are not a layer agent, but you're interested in learning more, uh, please just email happyagent at layerrealty.com and say you're interested in learning more about layer, and I'll reach out to you. Uh, and other than that, I want to thank uh, Len and Sergio for spending so much time with us today um teaching us about the tools training and technology at layer and thank you to everybody who spent the day with us learning about all of the stuff available to make your business great as a reminder hopefully before you walk away for the day you have about 10 more minutes before noon i would just sit and write down your five items that you're going to go execute on so that this year despite what the market is the market does not really matter it's not really a byproduct of your success your mindset is more of a byproduct of your success so go write down the five things that you're going to execute on and get to work and come join us next month or in a future month if you want to uh, get your next five items that you're going to go execute on anyways thanks everybody for a great day and have a great weekend thanks everyone